This bulletproof real? Nah, but this is the trailer park that Eminem was in. They thinking I'm about to take this shit. Yeah. And my mind, I'm about to kill this nigga yeah. for trying to take my shit. Yeah. Somebody gonna come out with a shotgun like, what you doing on my property, boy? Then we gonna get in the shootout and have to hurry up and pull off. Abandoned car. Bro, this car got <laughs> smacked, though. Oh. All right, so we in Eminem old trailer park. What's good? Dang, he on the right side? Is he from London? Anyways, I ain't never seen nobody drive on the right side in Detroit. In Eminem trailer park, we got people driving on the right side. Like, I ain't even think people really still live here. So, apparently, people still live in the legendary spot. This is where Eminem from. You see the trailer park? People, it's a big debate right now. People saying this ain't Detroit. They saying it's Warren. So, apparently, like... Since we in Warren, we can't be touched. Everything is good. We safe. This is suburbs. Ooh, we Them is not suburban speed bumps. That's all I can say, boy. Them speed bumps. That's that Detroit Paho speed bump. But this is where Eminem from. So I think he lived here for a minute. Some people saying it's from the movie. He really didn't live here. Oh, they saying he really didn't live here. It's just from the movie. But I had a resident tell me that he actually lived here. So I'm about to show y'all the exact trailer park that he lived in. Oh, wait, am I going on a one way or what? I gotta be, but who who cares? Let me see. Yeah, man, imagine if we ran into somebody who actually seen Eminem over here. Oh, yeah, dog was cool right here. He said we can come back and interview him for a bag of weed. No, I'm joking. Um, Eminem actual trailer park is this blue and white one right here. I'm about to just hop out real quick. I think this the one right here. So Marshall Mathers. All right. Ugh. All right. Let me see. Dang. M. Ooh, we. M, you got a. Ooh, you got an eviction notice. M, we got to take care of that. Hey, in the chat, should I buy one of these? Should I see if if I can buy one of these trailers or not? I don't know if it'd be a waste of money or not. But this is the trailer park that Eminem was in. I'm about to get close real quick just so I can see if I can feel the spirit of Eminem. Hold on. What if we see a body in here? Ooh, I think I'm feeling like Eminem. Ah, I'm ready to get it. I'm ready to rap it. I feel like B-Rabbit. Ooh, ooh, they see that I'm on the track and they see that I'm snapping. Ooh, 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 my lyrics is sick when I kill it, I pin it. This mild spaghetti, they know that I'm winning. I put on my hoodie, they know I still send it. Hop in the building. Ooh, yeah, I'm feeling like M right now. But this shit right here, that's crazy. I feel like in a park like this, somebody gonna come out with a shotgun. Like, what you doing on my property, boy? And we gonna get in a shootout and have to hurry up and pull off. But yeah, this is the legendary iconic spot where Eminem did the uh, freestyle where he had the hood. He was under the hood of the car fixing it and rapping and all that. Um, yeah, so we gonna drive around a little bit and see if we can find a local resident. Bro, it'd be crazy if I spent a night in one of these. That'd be crazy. Comment if you want me to spend a night here. All right, so apparently you can go to jail if you break in one of these, but that, that's normal. In Detroit, you know what? In Detroit, for the most part, you don't go to jail if you're breaking something. But it's some sort of sign or something, or somebody said if you, you go to jail and it's like a $10,000 fine. So I guess that's a warrant thing, right? So, yeah, they, they got that right. People in the comments got that right. You don't go to jail for breaking in nothing in Detroit. So if you break in one of these, you're going to jail. So that's how you know it's warrant and not Detroit. You know what? It'd be crazy. I think I need to do an interview with Royce the 5'9". That's actually a homie of mine. You know, him and Eminem. He say Eminem is like his best friend. They do got a lot of music together. They do um, talk often. They do shows. Like, all that, right? So, me and Royce should probably sit down. Me and him just... We talking right now. But it'd be dope to sit down with Royce. It'd be dope to talk to M, too. But M, they say he like a mythical creature. He don't come out like he... he he like a myth at this point. He not a real person. It's like the ghost of Eminem or something. Bro, I need to do some some sort of video. Dang, bro, these cats look like dogs. Them boys thick. Dang, that's a thick cat. Them, oh, yeah, them Detroit cats. Look, because they is not moving when I drive. Look, that's a Detroit cat. I don't care what nobody say. That boy said, run me over and watch what happened. That's a Detroit <laughs> cat. That is not no uh, Warren cat, I'm telling you. I don't know. People crazy. Look, listen. If I had to live here and people be like, I, I don't know. If I if I grew up here and people said you ain't go through the struggle, it's a different. When you say you're from Detroit, it's like a stripe that come with it, right? When you say you grew up in a struggle, 
and you show this, it's still a stripe, but saying you from Detroit is a different stripe. I don't know. People in, in Detroit is very particular about every. I'm telling you. But I get it because it's like, listen, just growing up in Detroit is different. Yeah, but we about to go to Long John Silver's. I'm about to go try this food real quick. Is Long John Silver, it's fish and what? Fish and shrimp, fish and chicken, fish and fries, chips. I'm about to go see though. I hope I don't get sick. But apparently that's like one of the best little Long John Silver's to eat at. So I'm about to go get me a little, little sandwich or something. All right, so look, I'm at the famous Long John Silver that everybody be talking about. I don't even know what to get from here. Dang, $14 for some fast food. Inflation, boy. Dang, I don't even know what I should. Ooh, them cheese bites, though. Yes. And then let me see. What else should I get? Uh, I don't know. I might just get something basic, bro. It's expensive. Dang. Yeah, I might do just two fish and then the cheese bites. Is it open? Next time I go on a date, I'm taking here. I'm taking a girl here. Yeah, we about to go get some fish and shrimp, baby. And then go to Long John Silver. Hello? One second. Her dog sound like it's like right next to me. Let me see two pieces of shrimp. That do sound good though. Yeah, two shellfish. Yeah. Nah, this way is that like that fresh. Mm -hmm. I think they get it out of Belle Isle. <laughs> Belle Isle fish. Long John Silver's, what can I get you? It was good, bro. Let me do a number one and then uh small cheese bites. You said a number one? Yeah, the two fish. And you want some cheese bites in your side? Yeah, yeah. The small cheese bite. Okay, that's gonna be an extra two dollars for the small cheese bite as a side. That's cool. What's your drink? Um Pepsi. Pepsi? Yeah. Would you like to add anything else? No, I'm okay. Thank you though. Okay, your total was twelve ninety thirty. Okay. That remind me of like GTA or something. You, or like, what's them games where you order food? It'd be just like that. I hope they got out of bail. Oh man, that boy is so cold at this. He in focus. Man, should I put my car in park? Do y'all take Apple Pay? Yeah. All right, bet. Yeah. Did it decline or it went through? It worked. All right, bet I got 12 in my account. At least I know that. Okay. You hear me? Yeah. It's a good day when you can. <laughs> Rod Wave. Rod Wave. Boy, I'm going to ask him to sing me something. <laughs> hey, we should pull up on Little. You think we can? Is he there? Mm -hmm. All right, bet. We're about to pull up on Little. Oh, what time is this for? To ride with. They back there not caring about nothing. Bro, he back there flipping the chicken with no gloves on. <laughs> oh. Oh, they trying to roast me. He like, dog broke. He ain't even at 12. He ain't even at 12 on the line, man. Come on, right? They back there just playing. They probably be having... Any friends back there? Yeah, baby, I'll let you behind the counter with me if you pull up. You can help me flip this chicken. Next date I go on, I'm telling you, we going to Long John Silver. Mm-hmm. It's better than Red Lobster, maybe, because it's faster. Both of them are like For real, bro. <laughs> what sauces would you like? Uh, uh what y'all got? Y'all got like tartar sauce and all that? You said tartar sauce and vinegar. 
<laughs> no. uh, tartar sauce and what other sauce? Uh, what y'all got? We got sweet and sour barbecue honey mustard. Honey and mustard and tartar sauce, yeah. All right. What is tartar sauce? I only heard about that on SpongeBob. That's the only time. I can't do nothing to this drink. Let me see. Like they're giggling. Right, he working a register and flipping fish. Who just flipped the fish? He, the man, he, the one that just gave your food just was he getting your food out the thing. Oh my God. You to my dog with the gray? Yeah. No, he going in the freezer. Let me see. I just seen him with them clamps twirling that fish. Oh, he ain't touch see? it with his head, but he grabbed Somebody the lied. They said it's the best one to go to. Now I'm about to be sick. I have to go to urgent care, get some Pepto burners, all that. Bro. That's crazy. You said he working register and he uh flipping the food. Dang, that car is smashed. Look at that Hellcat. <sighs> They ain't make it. Bro, they think I'm fine, bro. That's crazy. This is the wrong way for us, the only ones to be in the line. They back there goofing off this one. You know, like, he just came straight off the dog. Who? In the black. With the black. <laughs> Go get you a job. All right, mom. They back there yelling at each other. They probably look this like they whole family probably work here and uh, run this boy. My dog, I ain't about to do what you do it. Man, that's what I be saying. I'm calling mama. Yeah, I'm the only two people back here. She the manager. Bro, he carry. Why he carrying my food like it's in his house or something? He carrying my food like he got it out of his kitchen. As long as I don't get sick, I'm cool. Yeah, that's cool. Yep, yep. Hard working brothers out here, man. I see that, man. Have a nice you too, man. <laughs> he look irritated. He like, I ain't even want to say nothing. He's not gonna have a nice one. Why he say it like that? He ain't say it. He ain't even nice. Nothing I said. You think I'm building or something? He like, I have a, I have a nice one. Dang, I, got, I forgot. I got to pull over and try this food real quick. Let me see. Pull up and try this food real quick. You buy we fry? All right, look, so we in Warren right now. Well, we in the between one. I'm just about to pull up on a random block on right now. All right, so we in Detroit officially right here. So we was just in Warren ordering this food. Now we in Detroit. I'm going to have to get some drive, boy. I ain't trying to have nobody coming out. All right. I got you. Let me check. Let me see. I got you. Let me see what the deal is. This looks kind of good. Mm. Oh, it's banging, look. Yeah. Long job. Oh, this do taste good, though. Okay, they did. They put their foot in this. Literally. Yeah. All right. They threw their hand. Mm. Dark touch this itself. Mm -hmm. This is good, though. I'm surprised. Okay, I'll give them a pass. Oh, my God. What is that bump? I thought there was a police behind me. Mm. Bro, I don't trust that tartar sauce. It was supposed to be a package. Look. I'm cool and all right. Mm -hmm. oh, this is good, though. I'm just about to try it dry. What's a hush puppy? Is a hush puppy like bread and something fried? Like a basically with uh, cornbread. Oh, it's straight. Mm. It's good. I'm surprised this is good. And the seasoning. That pepper hitting. They be back there eating that all day, I bet. I make me another one, bro. This is where they demonstrate conduct. 27% of males felt pressure. I'm going to take her to, uh, to, take her to uh, Long John Silver. Yo. That'd be a funny prank, bro. I gotta find like some cameras though, like that I can just kind of have hidden. Not hidden, but just like because when people see phones, they know what's up. Oh, should I put the audio on on your phone? 
It's on. Oh, that boy. Oh. That boy, what you think? I, what you think you brought me out for? I feel like I gotta put my seatbelt on. I'm in Warren in Detroit. You don't need a seatbelt. That's crazy. You need your charger? Uh, no. I got another one in my bag, a fast one. I could just hook it straight up with this one. I don't know in my bag. If you were looking there, just uh, what percentage you want? 15. 15. All right, um, yeah, just look in there. It should be like an adapter for the, no, the, the big bag, man. the big, the top part. So if you look in there and get, dang, look at all them people just standing watching, bro. That's crazy. That's what they people do. It's a movie. Hmm. Uh, y'all that one right? Oh, yeah, good look. That's a movie. Bro, it was just an accident. Dang, wait, what happened to the car that was just right there? Did it move? <laughs> no, the other one that it hit moved. The one that was tore up in the front when you was like, dang, look, it pulled off. Oh, it is? Yeah, look, remember it was a car with the hood open and I was like, the cop was standing right there. That's crazy, but that boy didn't even look like he can move. He said, forget a tow truck. I ain't got AAA. But yeah, we in Warren. You see them uh, police, bro? They better not block it off while I'm right here, bro. Better wait. The cop looked like his name was Alex. I'm gonna be like, Alex. Oh, bro, he's about to try to block it off. I swear, if Alex try to block this off. That's how you know I got a clean record, all this I'm doing. Bro. It's easy. Hold on, go to the right. Bro, they about to try to smack me, hold on. Get Alex. What up, Alex? Bro, his jawline, look at that jawline, bro. This G.I. Bro, look, G.I. Joe, this car got smacked, though. Look. Oh. Ain't no way they moved that car, bro. That's how you know in Detroit. He said, I'm moving my car. It's a ticket. If, oh, it's a ticket if I keep it right here. That's how cutthroat would be. Look, they'd be like, yeah, we got to call a tow truck. That's going to be $500. He like, oh, no, I'll move it with the airbags. <laughs> For real, though, with the airbags, all that. He moved that boy. Who do you know that get in, hop in their car and move it after an accident like that? But that's why when people say they're from Detroit, that's why, because of stuff like that. He ain't warned. And warned, they like, no, nah, it's $500 to move this car, get it towed. He ain't even probably have insurance. That's why Detroit do claim they own it. Be like, if you're not from here, you can't claim it. Because I ain't going to lie, I'm kind of joking, but that's serious, though. I ain't never in my life seen somebody move their own car. But I know it's probably because he ain't wanted to get it towed. And he probably ain't had no insurance. And he can't just pull off and run. The cop probably already looked him up. And he ain't warned. Like, look, this Detroit right here. I mean, it's warned to the left, right here, warned. When you in Warren, they like, oh, you ain't got no insurance, you done. If he was, if he would have got in the accident right here, they probably would have still towed his car, and then he would have worried about it later. Been able to pay out of pocket. They probably about the rest dog for not having insurance with that. I would have just hopped out and ran if I was him, because the way Alex was looking at him, like that boy Alex about to the show lock him up. That boy was looking like Duke Nukem. <laughs> that boy was looking like Alex. What's the? Uh, What's the actress, Alex, uh, uh, dang, I forget. But yeah, he was looking like one of them guys. Looking like Brad, Brad Pitt. He was like 5'5", five, five, though. So he knew that jawline, the only thing that's saving him on the dating market. That jawline. That boy hopped out with the slick hair like, it's my duty to protect you. Only if you're from Warren, not from Detroit. If you're from Detroit, you're going to jail. Oh, that's that Wendy's, the worst rated one that I went to. I used to get so many free food bro, from dude. there when Frank and them worked there. You crazy. Talk about the worst. That food oh. used to slap. They say worst rated because they cuss you out when you yeah, go Yeah, oh, there. yeah. I, I said Frank there. and them worked well, in yeah, there. it's different. Now, it's different <laughs> with Frank. I don't know who that is, but they try to cuss me out when I walked in. I'm like, yeah, I hear y'all be. I walked in, there like, yeah, Yope say y'all the worst rated one, and y'all be cussing people out. And I'm like, y'all seem cool. She Basically, like, oh. people from the block I know worked in there. They whole family. She was like, why you coming here if we the worst rated then? I was like, ooh. But the you footage didn't right record. Here. The footage didn't record, bro. It was funny. I'm like, I'm going to the worst rated Wendy's. And they said they be cussing people out. When I went in there, bro, she just started cussing me out, bro. I got to go back in there and do it. I got to bring a girl in there with me, though. Because, you know, they're going to be like, man, what you want? Because if I go in there, I try to charm them up a little bit. It might, it might not work, but. Yeah. yeah, we just shooting videos. We shooting content. Say what up to the cam. I should have let you know before yeah. I popped out with the cam. No, you good. What you gotta say? What you gotta say for the cam? We just vlogging.
Wealth and prosperity. Wealth and prosperity, you feel me? What you got coming on next? What music? Say something. What? Um, Let them know. I got something coming out real soon. Real soon. I ain't even named it, but it's hard. All right, bet, bet, bet. We got when we doing that collab, man. I'm still waiting on my verse, man. We can do it whenever. All right, bet. I'll pull up on you. Yeah, we can do it whenever. All right, quick, quick. Uh, let me let me see. Quick question: How do you get respect in the city of Detroit? If you a young guy that want to get respect, what's the what's the top rules to get respect in the city? Stand on business. Yeah. Stand on business. Yeah, yeah. Get your motherfucking money. Get your money up. Yeah. Get your money, man, and stay on motherfucking point, man. Stay on business. So is it respect from women and guys when you uh when you get your money up? Oh yeah, of course. Yeah, women don't come. Well, women come with the money anyway. Yeah, yeah. 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 To get like you respect, you gotta give respect. Give it, me? give it first. Yeah, you feel me? Respect it go a long way. Mm hmm. That shit ain't just about the money. Mm hmm. But a lot of people. Respect motherfuckers for money. Mm -hmm, yeah. But everybody that got some money ain't real. No, nah, facts, facts, facts. But respect is so many different ways, but as long as you give it, you feel me? Mm -hmm. And then when, when somebody disrespects you, you standing on 10 yeah. and make them respect you, you feel me? Yep. Then they pass the word. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because that's one thing, like, for me, the more I start growing, people start seeing, like, okay, he getting some clout, he getting this. So it'll be girls trying to come in and see what they can take from me, see if they can disrespect me. Guys, too, trying to press me, running up on me, shit. running up on me with cameras then. As soon as, so, like, it, it started happening a lot last year where I'd be just walking downtown because I don't never pretend like I'm a hard, none of that. I just be living my life. Mm, for sure. So then people just popping up out of nowhere, hey, what's up, man? And I'm like, yeah, what's up? And then they're like, oh, no, no, no. I'm like, no, nah, yes, yeah, three of y'all wanted me. Like, what's up? You know, and then they, like, it calmed down right when I started popping off. So you're right. Like, when you get money, you get a certain position, people will attract to you, but then they're going to try to see if they can take it. Because yeah. I look at it like, if you if you, if you you got money and you got something that I can have, why not see if I could just kind of milk you for it? And then once I realize it, the respect come with it. Once you can't milk somebody for it, right? Oh, no, I ain't getting milk. But you hear me, though? But somebody going to try, though. no nigga or no motherfucking bitch. But they might, the thing is, they might try, especially if you don't carry yourself like that. You know yeah, what I mean? Nah, I, nigga, look in my eyes. <laughs> that ain't shit for me, bro. Yeah. yeah I'm, I'm taking every situation all the way. No, nah, for I'll be the same way, though. But people don't, the thing is, with me, people don't expect it. You can ask my mama. Yeah. Anytime somebody ever tried me, I'd be ready. Like, yeah, okay, bet. Sure. And then whenever, if they don't expect bro, it from you, they the not thing. prepared for it, this though. That's the thing, bro. When you have shit and motherfuckers don't, Want the shit that you got? Mm -hmm. Nigga, what you think they gonna do? Yeah, you feel me? But nigga, long as you know, long as you, long as they can look at you or motherfucking, you you let them know, nigga. Look when they looking at you and you looking at them and they think of what they think. Mm -hmm. They thinking I'm about to take this shit. And yeah. my mind, I'm about to kill this nigga yeah. for trying to take my shit. Yeah, yeah. You feel? And then once you get on that mode, they like I ain't ready to die for this. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm already knowing. You got an answer? Yeah, you got to. Oh, yeah, no, I know if it was a... Uh... What, well, um, it's a group discussion on it? We doing this whole job training. Thank you for All right, we probably about to slide in if you got to take What's that. on the floor? We just riding around the city filming for real. Shout yourself she out real quick. good with it. All right. Cause cocaine Kush. Um, cocaine Kush. I'm He's shooting the vlog right now. Say something to the camera. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You already know what it is. Shit, it's on the floor. Yeah, free bloody. Free Younger bloody. boy. That's bloody. Tell bloody. I said what's good. What's, uh, what's good? Bloody is Trey. I just threw a picture up of all of us. All, me, you, and bloody. Oh, yeah. Um, Trey said what's good, bro. Trey. What's good, man? I just put a picture up of us. All me, you, and Little. Oh, yeah. Yep, yep. When we was out at that bar last year, I think. Huh? Uh oh. Yeah, but we about to slide a little. Yeah. It's on the flow, bro. That was good, though. That was good. All right, bro. 
You said what, well, bloody? All right, I'll be in touch with you. All right, man, you ready? There's a lot of people out here, though. Like, this is the closest that you kind of get to the hood, at least from me, right? Like, I move all around Detroit all the time. But where I'm from, Dexter and Linwood, it's abandoned. It's not a lot of people over there. So you see young guys walking around, ski masks, guns. Um, it's because it's more populated over here. So for me, like, it is weird being around Detroit and you don't see a lot of people. Like, Detroit feel a lot more abandoned. They saying the population declining and people moving out and all that, which you can kind of see. You go to a lot of neighborhoods, you don't really see people outside for real. But uh, which way, Ma? Ma, which way? The thing is, too, like, it's so much right it's so much value that I see in hood culture, so much grind, grit, the stories and all that. So even though the more people around and all that and the more young guys who ain't really got a lot going on, it, it is more dangerous if you ain't from that neighborhood. But it's so much of, like, comfort and home to right me right because here. on the left, right, right there, right here. the store, the gas station. This smoke shop. Yeah, but for me, it's more like a comfortable thing because it's like. That's why I'm from. These are my people, you know. So, like, when you don't see it, it just almost feel like, where is everybody, you know? Because if you just get around all hipsters and old people, it's like, all right. But this that's real Detroit when you're walking around and you seeing just, like, hood culture. That's a big part of Detroit, though. Even though it's a negative culture, it's still a big part of Detroit culture. Because it's like a lot of us make the music. We represent the city for real. And a lot of that ain't really represented. So, that's why I try to represent corporate and the hood side because it, it contributes to detroit as a whole you know we got the stories we got the experience they make the songs about us the movies about us so yeah this bulletproof for real hey look detroit you see it everywhere you go i be trying to tell people people come out of town they don't even know that this is that's what you got everywhere you go you know what i mean it's crazy i don't know how people they ain't like when i go out of town and you get used to not seeing it it'd be like dang like it ain't no bulletproof glass out of here and then you go to Detroit, that's that's just what it is. That's a daily thing, you know, so. But this store is dope, though. Look, white tees right here. Look, if you go into a party, these white tees right here, bro, get you one. I'm telling you, the black tees is like, like right now, I'll probably throw a black tee on or something like that. But get you a tight-fitted one, like a medium or large, not the V-neck. Nah, them for the old heads of Detroit. Them for, like, aunts and pops and all that, the V-neck like that. But get you the regular one if you about to go to a party and you straight. Police come, we have... <laughs> gone that's funny they look they don't they don't they left the abandoned car right here this car in front of us waiting but i'm about to get up and around them because you they think it's yet. a car yeah but somebody look look we show them like the abandoned car yeah this detroit detroit though that's funny they hopped up out of there why is it abandoned you may ask i don't know Draw the, you just got to draw the conclusion Because guess what If they ran out of gas I don't know You would have pushed it to the side That kind of abandonment Is like We don't even want this car No more for real So Yeah Come on Jake How they think I made it With my family dying in this yeah. shit Fuck a million followers I need a million dollars quick I can't even function Without that money Shit we need to quit uh. Putting all your trust In a bitch Need to call it quick I can't do that cuz Cause my girl wanted me locked up Try to put me in a hole Like a mole I popped up Facing woods back to back Trying to ease the pain I was raised in the hood Where they moved away I'm on track now, knocking niggas out cause I train Now I'm back down, lay the smack down, I'm like Kane Pull the racks out, pull the tracks out, I'm fat man Ain't no rap nigga, ain't no cap nigga, I do my thing